hello guys nitin here and uh, today i am going to design a uh, industrial warehouse so as you can see in the screen uh, i have already model a house so let me show you in the rendered view and this is the warehouse so i will design in front of you guys so i have written the data and the word so you can see the length is 30 meter and uh, 6 meter on the each bay each bay okay so width is 20 meter and the slope is 1 ratio 10 and the building is located in Delhi and Sia. So wind speed is 47 meter per second and the height of the this structure is 6 meter. Okay. So load detail are here. So we will discuss in further in the video. Okay. So for now we will design, uh, we will model it in first. So new project and I name it industrial warehouse okay so industrial warehouse so i'm uh, taking the length unit in meter and the first unit in kilometer so next the file uh, is already exist so i name it industrial warehouse uh, two and next Mm, and so we have to take the uh, height of the warehouse is 6 meter so 6 meter and that 10 meter was there and snap option close ok so this is and uh, we will take uh, the support condition over there and in the pin support I am use I am taking in support assigned so we uh, divide this uh, beam in the two parts so insert node add midpoint okay so we will mirror it in the in the next direction okay so mirror it and the select turn on node and okay done so we will uh, replicate before the replicate we will assign the properties so properties define tapered section i will use tapered section okay so the f1 the depth of the section at start node i am taking uh, 0.35 for the column and the thickness of the web i am using 0.0055 mm and the depth of the section at end node so at the end node i will take 0.5 meter and the width of the top lens i will take 0.2 meter and the thickness of top lens i am taking 8 mm so 0.008 okay so width of the bottom lens i am taking 0.2 meter and the thickness of bottom lens i am taking 0.008 so thickness of the top lens and thickness of the bottom lens i am taking same so add and uh, as a use cursor to assign so assigned and you can see in the rendered view tapered section i have um, assigned for i have used for the member properties for the column okay so you can see for beam uh, i will use again tapered sections so 0.4 meter uh, the depth of section at start node and the thickness of the web i am taking 0.005 and the depth of section at end node i am using 0.3 okay so uh, width of top lens i am using 0.2 and the thickness of the top lens I am using 0 0.008 that is uh, 8 mm the width of top lens uh, 0 0.2 and the thickness of bottom lens is 0 0.008 done so use cursor to assign so, so they are the two parts for the uh, up from here so sign 
so you can see in the rendered view okay so and we will have to take the uh, member bodies for these sections also so define and in the tapered section and again i will take 0.3 uh, 0.005 and 0.4 width of top lens 0.2 thickness of top lens 0.008 and the width of bottom lens 0.2 and the thickness of bottom lens 0.008 add and close so so this is the third one and Sign to use cursor done so you will see in the rendered view we have used the tapered section for this warehouse you can use a uh, uniform sections also but for reducing the the uh, project cost you can use tapered section and uh, so we will uh, translation and translation we will use the translational repeat command for uh, replicate in the z direction okay so we have the five base and the each base of uh, six meter so in the z direction uh, six meter and the five base link step open base done okay it's all done so we will uh, we will uh, take bracings and at the top top of the roof for uh, supporting the the sheet uh, the sheet will come the, the aluminum sheet will uh, come over there so we will after that we will assign the load of the sheet also so these are our basings and so I will replicate the z direction okay so in the z direction so it will be in the minus z so minus uh, so 12 done and the minus 24 done and uh, mm, so 6 12 18 24 and 30 okay so we have the five base so you can check the distance also 30 meter and the width is 20 meter okay so it, it's a done and we will assign the properties uh, for the basings also so go to the section database so it has the inbuilt uh, uh, section database for the different different countries so it is taking a little bit time so it is loading yeah it has come so you, as you can see there are the so many uh, country country based data for the sections and we have to use the Indian section and the angle section we will use the angle section for the bracings okay so I am taking 60 by 30 by 5 okay sorry uh, I, I will take 55 by 55 by 10 okay so add and so I will select it in so first I will select
assign to selected and assigned okay so so it's for now and it's a first part of our video so so in the next video we will see the how how we will uh, assign the load and we will see uh, after that we will see the load combination then we will analyze it so we will complete design this warehouse so so thanks for watching and keep updating uh, you you will be updated uh, shortly okay for the next video so thanks for watching